Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on Indic language typesetting. In this tutorial, we will learn to install a new font and typeset a document in Indic language using ZLaTeX. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system and TechWorks Editor version 0.6. The steps demonstrated will work in all operating systems. To practice this tutorial, you should be familiar with LaTeX commands. If not, then go through the prerequisite LaTeX spoken tutorials on this website. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and use them while practicing. Make sure that all the supporting files are kept in the same folder while practicing. In this tutorial, we will be installing Nirmala UI font. This font supports 12 Indic scripts as mentioned here. First, go to the folder where all the files are downloaded. Now, Double click on the file nirmala.ttf. It will open the Nirmala UI font in the font viewer window. Click on the install button located at the top right corner of the window. This will install the font in your system. Once done, the install option will be changed to installed. Let us cross verify this. Click on the back button located to the left of the font name. This will display the list of fonts already installed in the system. Scroll down to find the newly installed Nirmala UI font in the fonts folder. Here it is. If Nirmala font file is present in that folder, then installation of the font is successful. If not, Repeat the above installation steps once again. Now we will typeset a document in ZLaTeX. I will be using the file multilang.tech for this demonstration. The same is available in the code files link. You can download it from there and use it while practicing. I have already opened the file multilang.tech in TechWorks editor. Now, let me give an overview of few commands. Font spec package allows us to use open type fonts without installing them. This is useful when you are not able to install fonts or require admin access. It gives us the facility to switch or use different fonts in the same LaTeX document. Polyglossia package allows us to typeset Indic languages in a ZLaTeX document. Without this package, the sentences in other language will not be processed in the output. I have set the default language as English using the command set default language. If you wish to set any other language as a default one, then we have to specify it here. Set other languages command helps us to mention the languages which we are going to use here. In this example, we are using Hindi, Tamil, Bengali, Telugu and Malayalam scripts. Using the new font family command, I have declared the font for each language. Here, I have used Nirmala UI font for all the languages. You can use any of the 12 scripts supported by Nirmala UI as per your choice. Make sure you have installed this font before compiling. Next to the begin document, I have written a few lines of code. The first few lines are written in English. As I have set the English as a default language, I don't need to specify any language. Before typing the text in a language other than the default one, we have to use the command select language and 
select the respective language name as a value. Say, in this piece of code, I wish to display my text in Tamil. So, before writing the text in Tamil, I have used select language command and set its value to Tamil. Likewise, I have written the code for the rest of the languages. Now, let us compile this. Select ZLaTeX as the compiler from the drop-down on the top toolbar. ZLaTeX provides user with extensive set of fonts. Run the code by clicking on the green typeset button at the top left corner. Observe the output PDF. We can see the output of the sentence in various languages in Nirmala UI font. In this example, I have used the font bundle Nirmala UI for all the languages. Instead, we can also use specific fonts for each language. For this part of the demonstration, I will be using these fonts for the respective languages. The same is available in the code files link. Download and install them as explained earlier in this tutorial before proceeding further. I have already installed these fonts on my machine. In the multilang.tech file, update the font declaration as shown here. In this example, I am declaring different fonts for different languages. Let us compile this file to see the output. Make sure the compiler is set to ZLaTeX at the top. Observe that there is no change in the output other than the font style. So, using any one of these methods, one can typeset Indic languages in a LaTeX document. Important note. While typesetting an Indic language in LaTeX, make sure you have declared the command select language. Else, the particular language text will not be displayed in the output. Let's try this. Copy the text written in any language and paste it next to the line, knowledge is the supreme goal. Let us compile this file to see the output. In this code, we have written a line of text in Telugu twice. One is before the select language command for Telugu and one is after that. But in the output PDF, we can only see the text which is written after the select language command. So, be careful while typesetting in Indic language. With this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to install Nirmala UI font, to typeset a document in multiple languages using Nirmala UI and other language specific fonts. As an assignment, identify and download other fonts which are compatible with the above languages or that supports some other languages. Install and use them to typeset a document and compare the output. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Meenal and Preeti, Fossey Summer Fellows 2019. And this is Praveen from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.